Okay. So speaking speaking of kupamba ya. Yeah? Uh. Kulikuwa kuna kipindi uko kwenye kwenye label. I think ilikuwa ni label. Yeah. Kwa 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 na real na 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 Aika. Mm. What happened there? Kwa sababu if you ask me. This is nice. It is fantastic. Wow. <laughs> Trust me, yeah. <laughs> It's nice. Mimi nikienda mm. pale huwa nakunywa mbili kwanza. Eh. I swear. Kwa ntamani malize fast alafu. Ni, ni F5 tu. Kama inge kwa. F5 tu no sama samaki. Ukimaliza okay, inaanza ngakupai wala usitalelea <laughs> tu. Ehe. Uh-huh. Um mm. kitu gani kilitokea kwa sababu kwenye kwenye macho yangu mimi nafikiri ilikuwa ni kama match made in heaven man. It was. Yeah, you were, you was home man. Yeah, Those definitely. guys na wewe yani mlikuwa mko sawa. Proper. What happened? Um first of all big up sana nyingi sana kwao kwa sababu You know they played their part kwenye career ya Rosary. Ni watu ambao unajua it's not easy kwa watu kukuamini pale ambapo hauna much to give. Wanadamu tunakoga na, na ile zile perspective za kwamba ili ni muamini mtu lazima anipe ki, kitu kubwa sana. Lakini I didn't have much to give na wakaniamini. So I really respect that. Um the way tulivotengana ni kwamba kwanza mkataba uli isha lakini mimi sikutaka kuendelea nao. Of course pia um, kitu ambacho ni cha msingi sana ambacho watu wengi wanaogoga hawakifahamu wakiingia especially kwa labels na other artists. Ni kwamba as a human being anyone mimi wewe everyone anakuwa na their own best interest at heart before yours. Kwa hiyo it's very hard for you to exploit ku exploit potential yako 100%. Pale ambapo mtu ambaye uko chini yake na yeye anataka ku exploit yako yake 100%. Yeah, lakini mara nyingi hiyo inatokea kwa, kwa, kwa kazi kama zinafanana. Yeah. Kwa sababu wao bahati mbaya ni kwamba wao pia ni wanamuziki. Yeah. Si ndio eh? yeah. Na wewe uko chini ya label. Kwa hiyo mm. pengine hata beat likitengeneza unaona hii ya Rosa. Mbona hii? Yeah. Kwa hiyo yani ni kitu ambacho kipo. Kwamba yani ah, hii angoja tuifanyie sisi. Au hii ya ah. Kwa hiyo afterwards unakuwa wanakuwa pia wanakuwa na majukumu yao as people as artists pia unakuwa wanakuwa shifted from you na uwezi ukamblame mtu mm. hata kama ni wewe you know mtu hawezi akakublame for doing you you have to do you then you do others you know so it's not a bad thing ni kitu ambacho keep is there any bad blood between you guys no there's no bad blood this is not for me Mm-hmm. So I can say yani kwamba I have a very clear conscience na Nevikenzo na ni watu na waheshimu na nawakubali sana kwa kitu ambacho walini walifanya kwa ajili yangu kwa ajili ya career yangu. Okay. Yeah. Uh, matatizo na basata. We don't have much time lakini nabii tukimbize hivyo. Yeah. So mimi na vitu vingi sana nataka kuongea na wewe. Mm-hmm. Um, kikwetu kwetu. Mm. Sio mara nyingi sana utakutana na rapper wa kike ambaye anaweza ku maintain kukaa pale juu kwa muda kwa muda mrefu. Right. Toka wewe umekuja mdogo wangu hauchezi hau mbali. Mm. Yaani sio mtu ambaye ulipita ukaondoka. Yeah. Umeendelea kuweko pale. Yeah. Lakini hapa katika tulikutana na matatizo yes. kutokana na eh, jinsi ambavyo unavaa, mm. eh, jinsi ambavyo unavojiweka, mm. maneno yako katika kwanza ngumu wako kwanza tulikuwa na matusi. <laughs> <laughs> kitu ambacho kilikuwa ni, ni tofauti yani tunasikiza marapi ya Marekani huko tuna yeah. yani ah, sawa ni Marekani sio hapa kwetu yeah. lakini wewe introduction yako tu ilikuwa ni kwamba unachana na matusi humo mo ndani yeah. and then hapa katikati ukaja ukakutana na issue za za, za, za baraza right eh? mm. vitu kama hivyo vinakuwa vinakufanyia nini kama wewe uh, zinakufanya zina ufanye zile vitu, vitu ambavyo watu wanataka we ufanye au bado unaendelea kuwa wewe kwamba you know what njia ni hii mm. um, kitu ambacho naweza nikasema hakuna kitu important au muhimu kama kuwa wewe katika craft yoyote au katika fani yoyote katika kazi yoyote katika hali yoyote hakuna kitu cha msingi kama wewe kuwa wewe kwa sababu 
Mimi kuwa mimi ndo inanitofautisha na watu wengine wote sio wa kwenye rap tu lakini pia wanaoimba na wanaofanya kazi nyingine hizo zote. Na pawa ambao tumepewa kubwa na Mwenyezi Mungu ni kwamba kuna salama mmoja tu. Hata akitokea mtu mwingine ni mwanamke kama wewe akaitwa jina lako akawa ana skin tone yako hawezi akawa wewe. Akitokea mwingine afahana mimi akaitwa Rosari hawezi akawa Rosari. So hata kama pale watu watakuja na opinion zao au watu watakuja na na issues zao wakaleta mezani kwako wakamwambia Rosa mimi sipendi unavotoa ulimi sipendi unavonywa nywele mimi nikinywa nywele sijamkosea mtu yote kitoa ulimi sijakosea kwa hiyo pale ambapo na, naangalia nikasema i know sijakosea mtu yote keep doing that kwa sababu that's who i am hiyo ndio inanifanya ina mimi niwe mimi uh, kwenye mziki wangu kitu ambacho ni key sana ambacho mimi nafanyaga kwenye mziki ni kuji express kutoa feeling zangu ninavohisi naenda kwenye mziki wangu nazungumza kupitia mziki wangu tangia nikiwa mdogo nilikuwa sio mtu wa kuongea sana na nilikuwa mpaka naonewaga nikiwa shule. Been bullied? Yeah, I've been bullied before. Cuz I was quiet, yani nilikuwa quiet sana alafu watu wanaweza wakanionea kwa sababu ni ni mpole. Kafikaga ni wazazi wangu walivotengana tu. Nika yani ndo nikajua life ilivyo after that. Nika nikaanza kuwa tough. But I never used to speak still nilikuwa nazungumza kupitia mziki. Kwa hiyo nitaenda kwa mziki nitaimba, nitalia, nitafanya yani nitakuwa na emotions aina yote. Kwa hiyo nilipokuwa mwanamuziki sasa hivi naenda kwenye mziki wangu kuzungumza, kuweza kutoa hisia zangu kupitia mziki wangu. Ndio maana kama unavyosema, one time ilikuwa hard track kwa sababu nilikuwa na emotion ile kwamba ndo naanza mziki wa rap kila mtu watu kibao wananiambia Rosa uwezi wewe ni mwanamke kadogo kadogo kembamba tukio uwe kidogo mzito alafu unavaa kama dume anambia mimi bebe mimi demu navaje kidume ili you know so yani lazima nijikubali sawa style yangu iko hivi nimekata hair style hivi ni hey. lakini it doesn't make me a man and i embrace that I love to be a woman. Mimi dream yangu one of my biggest dreams salam ni kuwa mama mzuri. Yaani napenda sana watoto. Mm. Na kuwa pia mke mzuri kwa mwana ambaye atanifaa. Ambaye Mungu atamshusha akasema Mwani mpo. Huyu ni wako. Go watu wanakuwa wanategemea wana kitu fulani kwa sababu wamezoea kuona kitu fulani kwa wengine. Right. So, na that doesn't change who I am. Na yani Rosary atazidi kuwa Rosary. Okay. Tunajifunza <laughs> na makosa ambayo tunafanya alafu tunasogea. So niambie kikao jinsi kilivyokuwa na wale jamaa kule. Ilikuwa ilikuwa so poor. <laughs> Kwanza ilikuwa kama kiti cha moto. Barua ilikujaje? Au ndio tu kwenye media? No, um wali tucheki, wali mcheki meneja wangu. Mhm. Akampigia simu sisi ni baraza. Kuna barua yenu hapa ambayo pia tumewatumia kwenye email, walitutumia pia kwenye email. Kitu proper Kwa, yani. Yeah, proper kabisa. So sisi tukasema okay. Barua imeandikwa siku fulani kwamba mnatakiwa mje. Kosa lilikuwa ni nini? Kosa ilikuwa ya kwanza kufanya kazi nje ya nchi bila kibali. Mhm. Uh, ya pili ni zile content ambazo zilikuwepo kwenye video. Wakasema kwamba ni nudity na vitu kama hivyo. Kwa tukaenda tukajipresent pale. Kiukweli ya yeah, it's wrong kufanya kazi nje ya nchi bila kibali cha mm. baraza la sanaa la Tanzania. Uh, as an artist unatakiwa uwe na kibali. Lakini pia kitu kingine ambacho kipo kwenye mziki ni kwamba mziki ni vibe. Kwa hiyo unaweza ukaondoka ukatoka hapa ukaenda Marekani umeenda kupati tu. Kama wewe ni mwanamuziki you come by the studio ukapata vibe ukafanya kazi. Pale ndio ushakunya. Tuacha. Eh. Yeah. 
kwa sasa mimi ndio hivyo nilitokea mimi nilikuwa nilienda Uganda nikaenda Kenya sasa nilipoenda Kenya sikuwa na mpango wa kushuti video ikatokea nikashuti hmm. kumbe pale ndo nisharibu kwa kosa namba 1 sina kibali kosa namba 2 content ya video ni tata kwa hiyo unasemaje okay honestly mimi sikuwa na kwanza samani kwa ku hard feelings zenu you know <laughs> kwa sababu sometimes unakuwa unafanya kitu chako kwa kusema ah you eh, i load kwamba yani unaweza ukamuumiza mtu kwa sababu sio intention yako sio kitu ambacho umedhamiria kwamba kimuumize mtu au kwa sababu ya a ah, ah. kama tu one time one time for the mother you know mm. sio kwamba nimesema wewe salama ndio mother mm. no I could be you know? I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> But like I did not point any fingers. Kwa hiyo naweza nikasema kwamba I didn't say kukuumiza. Kwa hiyo I'm sorry kama imekuumiza. Mm-hmm. But pia kitu kingine ambacho kipogo ni kwamba tunakuwa tunachukuliwa sisi ni marapa wa kike. Lazima tuwe wagumu, lazima tuwe vipi mara nikiwa okay nikiwa kawaida na vok- kuaga nikivaa nikiweka lipstick nyeusi watu wanasema ah roza wewe kweli are you straight <laughs> you know okay sawa nimeenda nimeshoot video niko kwenye bathtub nini watu wana wana wanabambia bambia hamna um, kitu ambacho utakifanya ambacho watu wataridhika i i hear you you know mm-hmm. so basically mimi nikaambia nilikuwa na vision yangu as an artist as mtu ambaye na, napenda sana ifike mbali maybe vision yangu haijaeleweka Now that's okay. You know? Mm. Nitachukua uh, adhabu yangu nita, nita I will learn from it na nita serve and I did. Lakini ni ile ilibidi ni fight ile adhabu ya kwamba usifanye muziki kwa miezi sita. Nikalipa fine ilikuwa kila kosa 1 million. Nikalipa 2 million and then hiyo adhabu nyingine nikaenda nikazungumza na uh, waziri mshimia mwakiembe na akaifuta ile ya 6 months ndo maana tukaendelea kufanya kazi okay did you learn anything from from that yeah definitely um it is very essential how important ni muhimu sana to account for people's feelings whenever you do anything but again kwa <laughs> tunazungumzia issues za vibe hapa yeah so nadhani <laughs> kuna mambo ambayo inabidi yabadilishwe kupitia kwenye mziki eh, kwa baraza kwamba bwana hivi vitu viko hivi na hivi na hivi si haviko hivi yani yeah. mimi mi siwezi nikaenda kule afu nikasema ah you know what mm. i want to do this and this lakini ah, i have to go back home and pata kibali yeah. au unaweza ku, ku apply hivi vitu online no actually you have to do it um manually ukiwa, manually yeah ukiwepo huko na i think kitu ambacho kina kina tu kina tu cost sana ni kwamba sisi na baraza hatuna huo karibu. Hmm. Kitu ambacho kinasikitisha pia ni kwamba pale ambapo baraza linakuwa lina interact na wasanii zaidi ni pale ambapo wasanii wame, wamekosea. Hapo ndo utasikia rozari. Unaona? Kwa hiyo pale ni yani unapachukulia wasanii wengi wanakuwa na, wanapaogopa. Wanapachukulia eh pale yani nikienda ni ngori ni noma mm. umeona sio kwamba lazima iwe ni noma kwa sababu wale wale jamaa pia mimi nimeka nao nimezungumza nime nao at first walikuwa mind lakini mwisho wa siku tumekuwa marafiki mm. so inakuwa na hivyo ukienda pale lazima kwanza eh lazima waku mind kwa sababu ni kama wazazi lazima waku mind alafu ndo akwambie ah unazingua siku nyingine fanya hivi umeona mm. kwa hiyo tunatakiwa tujenge tu, tu, ukaribu kati ya wasanii na baraza kwa sababu kazi yetu ni moja kufikisha sanaa ya Tanzania mbali. Mm-hmm. So, kama kazi yetu ni moja, tuifanye pamoja then. Isiwe kama yani sisi tukienda pale basata basi tunaenda kwa sababu kuna vita. Ah uh-uh. 
Unaweza ukaenda ukajengana, mkashauriana tunafanya nini, project gani, nini. Mm. Na pia maybe baraza pia iwe inakana inakuwa na ukaribu na sisi. Watengeneze kadi labda za Christmas hivi yeah. au Easter. You know, <laughs> yeah. wana wana wanakunjua kidogo mm. kwamba tusiwaone kama ah, all the time. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Rosa mimi nakushukuru sana. Hopefully how is your dad by the way right now? Like are you guys cool? Yeah, well, um my dad is old. <laughs> Maskini. <laughs> yeah, lakini yeah, we cool. We cool kabisa. Umeshai kuzungumza cool. haya mambo ambayo tumezungumza hapa you guys yes. like 101? Tumewahi kuzungumza na At the moment, unajua sometimes some people wanakuaga na, na different ways za ku react kwa kwa vitu vingi, mm. vitu tofauti tofauti. Mm. Na I think uwezi kuamini msosi ndio unakuja sasa hivi. Come on. Kama kama unataka tu pause hii. Eh hii inaitwa vuruga wins eh? By the way inatoka samaki samaki katika menye zetu. Eh ni jamani Inanukia. Jessica. Uwi. Eh mitihani mitihani. Hii ni kwenye menye mpya samaki samaki. Kwao tuendelee kuongea. Tuendelee kuongea. Unaweza ukapiga. Hebu onja kidogo tia 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 ku, ku, Ah unaweza uka, ukaendelea tu nayo mambo. Kwa hiyo um my dad 101 Yes tumewahi ku, kuwepo na 101 kuna kipindi alituitaga sisi wote unajua wazee wetu wakishazekaga wanakuwa Joni wanapenda sana vikao vya familia eh vikao <laughs> afu achaga tuko hivyo yeah. vikao ni kila siku yani kila siku vikao so akatuita pale Joni nye wote vilikuwa christmas kwa 20 2016 kama so 17 mm. christmas tukaenda moshi tume drive kwanza tumepata matatizo mara tairi imepasuka mambo kibao tumefika pale wanangu nyinyi ni watoto wangu mimi napenda tuwe na amani muona atuzungumzi kile kile kitu lakini you know kabisa kwamba hivyo ndio vitu ambavyo vinakuwa vinamuumiza right. kwamba anaona kama labda tuna umbali kwa sababu hivyo vitu lakini afterwards bado akawa na zile mambo zake tu zile za vurugu Mm. Inabidi unakuwa unamzoea. So these days ndio yani amekuwa kama amejirudi hivi. Ame ana yuko holili. Kuna kuna sehemu inaitwa holili kwa moshi. Mm. Amenunua kiwanja chake pale analimaga, anarudi marangu. Yani ana mishe zake ambazo anazifanyaga kila siku. I think hata pale ambapo mtu atakuja A, kuna kuna watu tofauti mtu atakuja akwambie ah salama nimekukosea naomba nisamee right. nifanye abc mm. lakini kuna watu wengine ambao hawatasema directly nisamee au nini lakini atakwambia atakuwa na, anajirudi kwa kufanya vitu tofauti tofauti Ata, ah salama tuende lunch mm. ah salama tufanye hivi yeah. umeona yeah. so basically ni njia yake ya ku protect ego yake but at the same time kuonyesha kwamba you know peace. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I'll look for you some other time to ongea mambo mengine na tule vya kula vizuri. Na tule vya kula vizuri. Yeah, wewe unaweza kuendelea sasa hivi. Mimi tutarudi <laughs> baada muda si mrefu. Asante yeah. Rosary, asante kwako wewe kwa kuangalia kipindi. Nakukumbusha tena kwa niaba ya samaki samaki ambao kwa maana menyu mpya pale ndugu yangu. Ibuka pale ndio ukachukua vitu vile vitatu lakini yeah, kikubwa zaidi ni kwamba wewe unatakiwa ende uka subscribe kwenye channel yetu ya YouTube kwa sababu hii kipindi kinapatikana huko na mengine kibao. Kwa niaba ya washikaji wote huko ndani mimi nakushukuru kwa kuangalia and take care Vipo vya la wa masio shida Vipo vya kupoteza sio muda Wenuka na ukimbize ndoto Kupati aina maana ukosei Kiburi kinafanya tujongei Tunaaka wapya kila day hey hey Slow ila kufika una why Chosen na mfuta na i cry to keep in the mungu na fry Yeah Yeah Me he say he touch could complain See that he could complain Mungu ana bless is okay Mungu ana bless